The numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you. I'd hate to say that I told you so, but I told you so. So, just in case if there are those that don't know, Teen Titans Go to the Movies did not do too well at the box office, making in a $23 million worldwide domestically, which isn't that bad of a bomb because they still made back a little bit of money from only a $10 million budget. However, Warner Brothers were attempting to make with a $19 million on the first week, after making $4.0 million on its first day, including $1 million from the Thursday night previews, the movie was lowered to $10 million, and it ended up debuting to $10.5 million, finishing 5th at the box office. And usually when it comes to the box office, you need to make back double your budget. So if this movie had a $10 million budget plus advertising, it's about $20 million. So currently, Teen Titans Go to the Movies currently sits at $23 million worldwide domestically, and it just barely made it by scathing even. These are quite embarrassing numbers, and there's no way it'll reach its end goal to $200 million. People will say that more people will see it, but no. Usually around this time, the second week is usually the biggest, and knowing the box office, the second week doesn't usually do as well as the first week. And you can clearly see that because of the second week of Teen Titans Go to the Movies only dropped by 66%, which is really bad. I believe Warner Brothers were estimating about 35 to $40 million on the second week, and it just didn't. And it just makes me wonder how bad this movie would have done if they didn't tell fans that a season 6 would come back if this movie did well, which I'll get to later on. I actually thought there was a chance for this movie to do well because it was well received by fans and critics, but as of right now, that doesn't seem to be the case, and it seems like people have some common sense to not support this damn movie, and I really can't blame them. From what I've seen, most of these goons, as Johnson Hood and Daypool likes to call them, have been trying to make excuses for why this movie didn't do so well, saying that 2D animated movies don't sell anymore, which I strongly disagree with. I doubt an average moviegoer would care whether or not an animated movie is in 2D or 3D. Just as long as it's well written, there shouldn't be a problem. The new Broly movie is coming out in theaters later this year, and the movie already has a lot of hype surrounding it. I've been wanting to see 2D animated movies again for a long time now. Some of my favorite animated movies are Akira, Treasure Planet, The Lion King, and the list goes on. Teen Titans Go to the Movies was not the type of 2D movie that I wanted or anyone else in that case. I think the only reason why we don't have 2D animated movies anymore is because Hollywood just doesn't want to take that chance anymore. And think that audiences don't want 2D animation anymore because it's outdated. And 3D animation is the new trend, which isn't the case. If you can put out good stuff, then people could care less about how the movie looks. People have said that it bombed because Warner Brothers have not done a good job at promoting the movie, which is also dumb because Cartoon Network have been promoting the movie on their network with all of these marathons, so I don't want to hear it. Some people say it's because it was competing against Mission Impossible, and look, I wasn't expecting the movie to be number one in the first week of the box office, but it came in at number five. Yeah. One person said it's a kid's movie and you shouldn't expect too much out of it. Guys, look, when it comes to making an animated movie, you have to appeal to all audiences, not just kids. That's what made the Disney and Pixar movies popular. And this isn't the first time Warner Brothers have made their own animated movie. Both the Lego and Lego Batman movie did well because they appeal to all audiences. And when you look at Teen Titans Go to the Movies, it's a movie based off of a TV show that was only meant to appeal to kids. Even if this movie was good, the movie still performed poorly in the box office because it has a bad reputation based off of its TV show counterpart. Most moviegoers that watch movies are adults, and when you look at the Teen Titans Go TV show itself, especially knowing how they've alienated the old fans who grew up with the original show. So why would they want to see it? Because Teen Titans Season 6 is coming back? One goon in the comment section told me that the movie would do well, because people who hate the show were going to see the movie anyways, just like people who hate Teen Titans Go will watch the show anyways. Well, now it doesn't seem that way. Some of you goons in the comment section were going to tell me that it was going to do well, 
Well, now that we have the results, what do you have to say now? That's right, the goons have become a lot more quieter and are starting to make excuses for why it bombed. Face it guys, Teen Titans Go to the Movies bombed because nobody was interested in seeing it. The numbers don't lie and you can't argue with facts. It's no wonder why Cartoon Network hasn't done another theatrical film since the 2002 Powerpuff Girls movie. So what do you goons have to say for yourselves? I was right and you were wrong. <laughs> oh man, I crack myself up. And don't even get me started on all the Teen Titans Go marathons on Cartoon Network. Cartoon Network thought it was a good idea to oversaturate the network with Teen Titans Go. They honestly thought that the movie was going to do so well because people can't get enough of Teen Titans Go, right? Am I right? I knew the marathons were going to hurt the network and the show itself because Cartoon Network hasn't been doing so well in the ratings right now. And all of those marathons just created fatigue for Teen Titans Go itself to the point to where people have now gotten sick of it. And now Cartoon Network and Warner Brothers only have themselves to blame. And with this at and merger going through, someone is bound to lose their job. So Christina Miller and Visnu, you better pack your bags real early because you're about to hit the unemployment line real soon. Woohoo! As for Warner Brothers, I hope at and does a clean house and fires every last one of them. Seems like all that trolling backfired on them big time and they only brought it on themselves. Now with that said, what does it mean for Teen Titans Season 6? Now, it was said by Greg Sipes and Tara Strong that if the movie did well in the box office, hitting at $250 million in the box office, then Teen Titans Season 6 will indeed happen, which honestly is not going to happen. Honestly, I don't even know why we have to get a Teen Titans Season 6 through Teen Titans Go. If they're going to bring back the show, then just do it already. They know the 2003 Teen Titans is a pretty popular series, and they know fans want it. Why not do it already? More people were talking about the after credits than the actual movie itself. People care about the original Teen Titans. Nobody cares about Teen Titans Go, but the little kitties and the retarded man children. Because right now, Warner Brothers are not doing very well right now with their DC Cinematic Universe and their streaming service only has one interesting show, which is Young Justice Outsiders. They really need something to win back the fans. So why not give the fans what they want? Why not give the original Teen Titans a season 6? If they put it on their streaming service, it would gain a lot of subscription numbers. Or hell, put it on Adult Swim. The Samurai Jack revival did well last year. Why not? Honestly guys, I think Warner Brothers and DC might bring back the original Teen Titans someday. Because right now, they're desperate for something. So don't worry guys, Teen Titans season 6 will happen someday. Especially with the after credit scene of the movie, Warner Brothers put themselves in this position to tease a season 6. Now they've already gotten so many people speculating about season 6, and once they go in deep, they have to go all the way. There's no turning back. Now, I did hear there would be a Teen Titans Go episode mentioning the after credit scene, so we'll just have to wait and see. But even if season 6 doesn't happen, Maybe this could be a positive thing for us fans because maybe now Cartoon Network will finally learn from their mistakes. After oversaturating the network with Teen Titans Go, maybe this time they'll start to air less Teen Titans Go. Maybe they'll finally stop with all of these cheaper reboots of classic action shows we used to love. But let's just wait and see how Thundercats Roar does before assuming anything. I really hope this Teen Titans Go bomb is assigned to better the network and if they don't, Bye bye Christina Miller and Vishnu. But well guys, that just about wraps up my video. What do you think of Teen Titans Go bombing? Do you still think it's possible for the original Teen Titans to be revived? Comment down below. This is Red Wolf signing out, and I'll see you next time. Peace.